Deuteronomy 5.33 says this. You shall walk in the way that the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live and that it may go well with you, and you may live long in the land you all possess. I, I seriously doubt if there's a single person in here who wouldn't want to have the blessings of the Lord in that way, that you may live long in the land that you shall possess, and that it may go well with you. But there's a, something of a condition there, and it's walking in the way of your Lord. And what does all that mean? Well, that's a, that's a pretty in-depth subject, and I'm just going to touch on it just ever so briefly. It pretty much means a continuous effort, not just an occasional um, uh, activity, but to walk in the Lord is something that you do continually all week long, all of your life. And one of the ways that you can um, assist yourself in that is to plug into your church like you are this morning. But this is just Sunday morning. You know, I encourage you to look beyond what merely happens here on, say, Sunday morning. There is a life within this church that is really amazing. Um, there are, is an abundance of resources, of um, educational opportunities, of uh, ministries that go on in this church that you can avail yourself of and that you can plug into and be a part of. You know, some of these things only last a day, some of the activities, some for a season, some are continuous. They, they go on, you know, week after week, all year long. And, um, but there is something for everyone, no matter what your circumstance, what you are looking for, you know, what your needs might be. You know, so take time to find out what's going on. I, I'm going to uh, just touch on a few. There's opportunities here um, for you to meet people and make new friends. For fellowship, we have, for the women, we have the Ruth and Naomi Fellowship. We have home Bible studies. We have women's groups, youth fellowship, men's Monday night. There are opportunities for education. There's a Wednesday night service that where Barry does an amazing job of, of teaching us. There's women's Bible study throughout the week. There's the SMART meeting that uh, you can get education. If you are in need of help in some ways, there's things like meals ministry for when you're sick and not able to, to uh, prepare food for your family. There's drug and alcohol rehab if you're struggling with addictions. There's a food pantry that uh, we make available, um, just food and, uh, and, and household materials to people. Um, but there's other ways. If you want to take it a, a step further, you can help serve, depending upon your talents and time and uh, abilities. Um, there are men within this fellowship who can cook, and they're darn good at it. We all uh, are blessed because of what they can do. We have law enforcement and military people who serve as occasional um, uh, uh, security you know, here at the church. We have musicians who play on Sundays, but not only that, you know, I think, isn't it amazing? We have some really good, young, talented musicians. And some of those people originally learned how to play and got kind of plugged in that way because there were other musicians who were willing to teach them. Um, we, we have need of teachers in the, in the children's church. Um, I've seen surfers, uh, surf cats here in the, ca in the fellowship who've gone on to actually use that ability to, to uh, reach other, other kids. I saw a 12-year-old here who started a ministry of recycling um, cans and bottles to uh, raise up money for um, missions. Just there's an abundance of opportunity here. So just take time that in your bulletin, you can see some of the resources.